Hi there, I'm Source Make, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own Chrome extension. So it's going to be a really simple project. Anyone can do it. You only need three files, and you're going to be surprised at how little it takes to make one of these extensions. So as usual, I've got my website open, and it's got all the resources that we need. If you're following along, you are going to need something from this website. So go ahead and click the link below this video to get to this webpage. And while you're down there, you can also click the subscribe button for this YouTube channel. So what is a browser extension? Basically, a browser extension allows you to add some functionality to a web page. So the browser ex extension could be anything. It could be like a standalone application, or it could even do something every time the page loads. So for example, I've got three ad blocks on my Chrome extensions, on, on my extensions for Chrome. And what it does is basically anytime the page loads, a web page loads, it checks to see if any advertisements are trying to load on the page. And if they are trying to load advertisements on the page, then the ad blocks will stop it from loading, which is really useful. I've also got Ghostry, which it blocks analytics tools, analytics trackers, stuff like that. And I would be remiss to not say that I saw Ghostry present at a conference and they were giving out these little toys and Ghostry gave me one, which is really cool. So shout out to Ghostry for being cool like that. It was actually New York Tech Day, I think, that was the conference. So um, with all of that said, we're going to make our very own Chrome extension, and it's only going to be three files. It's so simple that we're just going to jump right into it. So I've got Ubuntu open, and we're going to be working on this Chrome right here. So um, to start out with, the first file that we need is called manifest.json. Now, this manifest.json is basically what Chrome looks at when they're looking at your extension. and Basically, it just defines the functionality of your web browser. Like, it defines the name, the description, any permissions that you're going to need, such as if you need to access storage on the user's device or anything like that is defined here. So let's take a look at it. We've got a name for our extension. We've got a description, a version number, the manifest version, and we've got this thing called browser action. Now, this is going to define the other two files that we need for our simple example. The first one is the default icon. It's not first, actually. It's second, but I'm going to talk about it first, which is actually this icon right here. So you see um, for, for our browser, we've got these icons that show what the extension actually is, and that's just the icon. So it's a 48 by 48 PNG file. And why don't we go ahead and download it right now? So I've got this on my website. I'm just going to save it. And the name was source 48 by 48. So let's go ahead and download it. We're going to go to our downloads folder and we are going to move it to the project folder. Simple. So we got our manifest file that Chrome looks at when they pack the application together. We've got the little icon that's right here. And what happens when you click this icon is a little box pops up all the time. And that's basically the pop up. That's the default pop-up actually the very basic thing that you need and that's just HTML so we define it here as a file called hello.html so let's make it and the HTML just defines what the pop-up does you see we have really basic tags here which are HTML opening and closing tags body opening and closing tags and just one header tag that says source extension this is as basic as it gets so that's all we need for our Chrome extension, three files. The icon, the little bit of HTML that pops up, and the manifest file that defines the names of these files and the name of our extension and the description of the extension. Really, really simple. It's surprisingly simple. And what we need to do now is we need to actually load this into Chrome to test it out. Now, normally what happens is um, for, first, let me get to the page. You need to type Chrome extensions to get to the page that you need in Chrome. So Chrome semicolon slash slash extensions. Yes. And make sure developer mode is clicked. And what this does is it lets you load your very own extensions. Now, this project would actually get zipped up into something called the CRX file, .crx, and that's basically a Chrome extension file. Basically, like, you know, if you were to compile C++ code, it would go into an executable file. But instead of doing that, what Chrome lets you do is it lets you just define the folder that your project is in, and it takes care of the rest, so you don't actually have to zip it up. It's not actually zipping. It's, you know, compiling or something like that. I don't even know. But 
you see, you saw I just selected the folder name, which is um, this root in my computer. And now our file is loaded just like that into Chrome and it's enabled. Make sure it's en enabled. And we're going to test it out right now. You can see right here, we have our Chrome extension. It's got the little folder icon that I defined before. And it's got this name that um, if you hover over it, it says it. Or is that the description? I forgot which one. No, it's the name. So extensions with source make, extensions with source make. And when you click it, the little pop up for our HTML shows up, which is just this basic header HTML. So just like that, we made a Chrome extension and it was that easy. I just wanted to demystify it in this video because, you know, you know, it's really hard to know how these applications work. And I just showed you it's three really basic files, HTML, a little icon and the manifest file. That's the JSON file. So that was really basic. You know how to make your own Chrome extension. If you want to expand upon it and add functionality, you could add some CSS, some JavaScript, some other pictures, and you can do whatever you want. And I will be making a very larger Chrome extension that has some useful functions, maybe in YouTube video form, but probably I'm just going to stream it on Twitch. So go ahead and click the subscribe button below this video, or there'll be a link to my Twitch account. So go ahead and follow that and what I'm doing, the larger Chrome extension, that's going to be a cool big project. You can watch me do it in action and that'll be really useful. So go ahead and do that. And eventually we'll be making a Firefox plugin, like another video, just to see how Firefox does it because this is Chrome. So I'm Source Make and thanks for watching. You now know how to make Chrome extensions. It was really easy. Thanks.